Coach, I know you were hoping for a bounce back performance after yesterday. Instead, it kind of followed a pretty similar script to the night before. What was the biggest factor or difference in your mind between how you were hoping to see unfold and what actually happened? The biggest difference? Uh, um, it was nowhere near what we were hoping. I mean, I, I don't know what the biggest difference was. I, the, the, I thought the first period was totally fine. We killed a couple of penalties just like last night, and then we started to make mistakes just like we did last night. So I'm not sure there was a difference. I, you know, the, the game plan was, was to respond and, and, and hopefully, you know, maybe take the lead. You know, it's not something we've had a bunch this year, but um, um, you know, obviously we weren't able to do that. I, I, I thought we, um, we killed what we killed two penalties in the first, maybe three, something like that. Um, which made it difficult for us to, to get any kind of offensive zone time or anything like that. Um, but uh, I think I think you hit it on the head. It it, it, uh, it wasn't the script we wanted. You do that against the, the you know the if they're the number four team in the country, uh, you know there's 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 three pretty good teams ahead of them because they're they're a really good team. I mean, they again I think the pedigree they have, um, and they showed it tonight. They uh, after a, I don't know what they would consider the first period. We thought it was fine. Um, they they did what they did to us last night, and we just stood there and watched it. And it Talk about that national championship experience. A lot of veterans there, a lot, of, a lot of experience, a lot of big games. And what does your team need to do coming out of that, going into the next series against Omaha and trying to kind of just raise that level for you? Well, I, th I think first and foremost, they need to mentally cut it loose because, you know, you carry it around with you. It'll make next weekend difficult as well. Omaha is a really good team. Looks like they're going to get a, a going to have a good weekend at home here against Duluth. Just watching the scores, um, we carried around with us. It'll be a, it'll be a long weekend for us, so we have to cut it loose. Um, we have to learn from it, uh, and 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 ultimately we have to play better. We didn't we didn't play well. Um, we need to start holding some people accountable for their play, and that's on me. We'll start to do that. Anything specifically on the offensive end as far as, like you said, kind of manufacturing more zone time when you are even strength or just trying to um, break through on a scoreboard? I think in general, more pucks on net. I, I think we, for a team that doesn't get many shots on net, doesn't score many goals, we turn them. Uh, we, we, uh, we give up on a bunch of shots. I think shot potential, shot possibilities. We, uh, we don't, we don't shoot enough pucks and, and, you know, we harp on it constantly and, and uh it's just not something that we we uh we're good at and we have to we have to start putting more pucks at the other team's net i think the the numbers say and um the, the more pucks you put to the net the better chance one of them or, or some of them are going to go in and we have to start doing that